know a saint, Saint Blaise. Saint Blaise was the Bishop of Sebaste in Armenia, modern Turkey, around 1700 years ago. There are many versions of his life but he is best known for healing the sick, even animals would come to him to be cured. Some accounts tell of how Saint Blaise left Sebaste to escape persecution. He made his home in a mountain cave and lived there, surrounded by wild animals, until he was found, brought back to Sebaste and arrested. On his way to prison, Saint Blaise met a mother whose son was choking to death on a fishbone. He cured the boy and to show her gratitude, the mother brought candles to light his prison cell. In another version of the story, Saint Blaise met a woman whose pig had been taken by a wolf. He commanded the wolf to return the pig and it was this woman who brought the candles for his cell. In prison, Saint Blaise was ordered to renounce his faith. He refused so was beaten with wool combs and beheaded. After his death, he was made a saint and has become the patron saint of wool combers, wild animals, candle makers and ailments of the throat. Saint Blaise was a popular saint in medieval England, probably due to the connection with wool combing and the wool trade, which was an important industry at the time. A number of churches, chapels and a holy well were dedicated to him. One of these chapels is shown on early maps of Bristol and Gloucestershire. According to tradition, this chapel was positioned on top of Blaze Hill, where Blaze Castle now stands. Excavations in 1918 and in 1957 revealed the foundations of a building, which many believe to be remains of the chapel. A number of these green glazed ceramic roof tiles were found across the site. An earlier chapel, dedicated to St. Werberga, is also recorded nearby but its exact location is unknown. Some suggest they were the same building and that St. Blaise simply replaced St. Weberga as the chapel's dedication. St. Weberga's feast day is also on the 3rd of February, 